Alrighty, folks. I hope you are having a great day. I uh, I just wanted to chime in. Here we go again uh, with all the alarmism on YouTube. Uh, this time involving uh, the H. Uh, I don't even know which one. Bird flu H five N one, whichever one that everybody's starting to talk about now. If you hadn't noticed, um, there is an ongoing theme of all of this alarm, alarmism and exaggeration of every little bitty thing. And it's to get clicks, it's to get sales, it's to... And they're not going to stop. And that's clear. And, and the interesting thing is, and I find this extremely interesting, is that not only is that alone bad enough, Right, but then people will comment and try to explain this to them, and they just delete and block the people, right? And then they'll turn around, and they're constantly talking about how YouTube's unsubscribing people from them, and I've I've mentioned this before, I'll mention it again. How many channels have you personally been unsubscribed from? Because for me, it's been like a goose egg. And I've been on YouTube for a lot longer than I've had the Watchmen News. And I've not been unsubscribed from people. Have you? Because I would, I, I would speculate that most of you have not been unsubscribed from channels. And I'm not talking about, you know, fat fingering your phone and uns unsubscribing on accident and not realizing it. Because I do think that that happens from time to time. I think a majority of it is just completely made up on both sides. Um, what these folks can't handle is the truth. They can't handle the fact that people cannot align with their constant fear mongering and that people are actually unsubscribing because they're tired of hearing it. And they keep up and they keep up and they keep up. Well, all these prepper channels have this big echo chamber amongst themselves, if you hadn't noticed. And that's why they're all involved in this little circle jerk amongst themselves. And they've built their own bubble around themselves. And both both as, as the community of, of prepper content creators and themselves personally. They've, they've built this little bubble around them. And, you know, those echoes are bouncing off from every direction. And the only thing that they can hear is themselves and each other. And if you oppose anything they have to say, well, you're just jealous. You're, you're just jealous or whatever bogus reason they come up with for that particular day. But I, I, want, to, I want to pull back a little bit on the fear monger because these, these people aren't going to come out ever going to come out and say, hey, look, I was wrong. I was wrong. They're not going to do it. In fact, all they do is whenever they even get remotely close to something, they make sure they're, you know, ah, you know, pointing it out. But even a broken clock is right twice a day, right? If you keep poking at these, these false predictions, eventually something's going to turn out to be not false. And so they try to rely on those moments to keep propelling their nonsense. Am I trying to say that the skies are blue and everything's all hunky-dory and there's no problems in the world? Absolutely not. But these folks will take every news story that they can find that they think is going to have the most emotional. And this is what they are doing. This is actually, don't let them bullshit you. They are picking out the stories that will have the most emotional impact on you and specifically focusing and embellishing those stories so that their their mindset is it's going to keep people clicking. And that may be true to a certain level. Uh, I, would, I would certainly question the quality of the people that keep clicking those videos. I would question that. And if that's who they want to, to cater to, then they need to be upfront about it. They need to tell people, hey, look, I'm here for, for the clicks and the fear baiting, you know, fear mongering, the, the click baiting. Um, so if you really want, you know, an honest, you need, and, and they need to point to an honest channel, seriously, but that ain't going to happen. They aren't going to do anything to reform themselves. And they've made that clear. They can literally have people leaving 
right? They can have people commenting and telling them that, hey, look, this is BS. They don't care. Not in the least. You're jealous, right? Or whatever the excuse is. And all the people that are leaving their channels and droves, well, that's YouTube doing that. I mean, that's just like <clears throat> the nonsense of when they have technical difficulties that it's always YouTube, right? It's It's not a lack of their ability. It's not a lack of they're putting effort into something. It's YouTube, right? And <clears throat> sometimes, because I've been doing YouTube for a long time, especially on the live stream, the end of things. And sometimes, for instance, when you have microphone or when you have sound issues, sometimes it's your your microphone device, right? Your Your audio input device. Getting a bad connection because it is digital, and sometimes digital gets a bad connection. Have you ever talked to somebody on a VOIP phone, and all of a sudden they start sounding like a robot and all that stuff? That's a bad connection, okay? And so anything audio, video, if, if something gets out of whack, uh, it can cause artifacts, if you will, and cause issues. <clears throat> in audio, pardon the cough, in, in audio that could amount to little pops, it could amount to a hiss or a hum, um, many things, right? Or it could be staticky or what have you, poppy. Um, there's all kinds of little bitty different artifacts, if you will, that can happen from having a bad connection. It's, it's not YouTube targeting the specific channels to fuck you from hearing their content because they're pushing the content. They're pushing the people that are doing the clickbaiting and the fear mongering and all of that because that is what gets people. But they're drive bys. You hear Baron Dependent talk all the time about how 40% of the people subscribed and he's probably pretty accurate on that. I don't know. But. <clears throat> the reason why is because the majority of the people that listen to that stuff don't want to subscribe. A lot of them are fly-by-nighters or drive-bys, right? And they check out the show or whatever, you know, and when he starts his sham wow bullshit or, you know, what have you, then they're gone, right? They're not going to subscribe to that. Uh, it's the same with my channel. It's why we don't get subscribers, right? Because of because of me, because of my mouth, because of my attitude. It's because of me. And I'm good with that. I'm fine with that. I'm not going to be fake to you because I don't want you to be fake to me. Right? Now, if these people are okay, if they can sleep well at night, knowing that they can go out there and bullshit people and be bullshitted in return, and they have this little circle jerk relationship with one another that means nothing except for momentary egos, and I, I mean that, momentary egos, because at some point, at some point, the thought's got to hit their minds that, wait a minute here, maybe I'm not all that in a bag of chips. But I don't think that feeling lasts long because they're back up the next day with the same bullshit. Look, again, it's not all rosy. In fact, it's far from rosy. <clears throat> Keep an eye on the weather systems. We got a, a heck of a, a storm system moving in, uh, or will be moving into the Gulf Coast, or I, I mean the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we don't know where it's going to hit yet, um, but it's turning out to be a pretty serious uh, hurricane, pretty serious storm system in general. And a lot of, uh, I don't know if I call it oddities, but there are a lot of notable things about the storm, how quickly it grew, how strong it grew. So stuff like that has, has been something I've been talking about for years now. Pay attention for that. You're going to see that increase. Am I telling you to go out and buy anything? No. Am I telling you to be afraid? No. What I'm telling you is to keep an eye on the weather Watch how the, the weather is changing and, in my opinion, going to be getting much worse as it has been. And, uh, you know, go from there. You, you do what you need to do or what you feel you need to do. Um, the other thing is that, that has to be pointed out is, is what's going on uh, with military conflicts around the world. Home, oh my goodness, right? 
um, those were some concerning things. And if you were to ask my opinion about the situation, especially with Russia and, U and Ukraine, I think that we're going to be pretty much all in in a, in a short order, um, possibly before the election. Am I telling you to be afraid? No. How can I tell you when to be afraid when I don't know what it is you're supposed to be afraid of? War in general? Um, we were in the desert for like 20 freaking years. Okay? Um, <laughs> and we weren't playing Moses either. We were in the desert for like 20 years over there in the Middle East. Okay? And, you know, unfortunately we lost a lot of military members and all of that and that nonsense. But as far as individuals that live here in the United States... Uh, aside from being affected by loss of family members or what have you, uh, largely there's not been any effect, right? That the war in the Middle East has not um, caused us a bunch of famine and pestilence and blah, 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 right? It didn't. Do I think that this conflict uh, would be the same? No, not even remotely. Not even remotely. But I can't tell you anything for certain. And I'm, I'm certainly not going to expect or want you to get yourself worked up over something that we have little to no answers about right now. Should you be prepared? Uh, yeah. You should have been prepared the whole time. Right? But you should have been just as prepared for World War III as a tornado or a job loss or something like that. This is not something that, it's not a game. And I, and I keep trying to point out to folks that it's not a club either, right? Um, we need to stop all this fake relationship stuff uh, because there's a lot of fake relationship stuff on YouTube. Um, you know, people just need to be straight with one another and be real with one another and, and try to be helpful, not boisterous, not trying to be the one on top, not... I mean, it is ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. So, keep an eye on this stuff. Warnews247.gr You know that's what I recommend. I will continue to recommend it until something tells me otherwise. Or shows me otherwise. You know what I mean. If I see all of a sudden they start posting a bunch of bunk, I'm not going to recommend you to go there. Just keep an eye on stuff, you know? Um, I'm an email away if if you need something. Uh, the description box down below is the Watchman News at Yahoo.com. Um, Watchman, man with an A, not an E. The Watchman News at Yahoo.com. And you'll get my email. Um, it's down below too. If you need something, if you've got concerns, if you've got what have you, email me. If you don't want to, you know, comment publicly or something on the YouTube videos, just email me. Yeah, you know, I'm good with that. You're not bothering me, not in any way, shape, or form. Um, I'm just, you know, I am not going to add to what is going on. And there's no way for me... To come on here daily and doing news and covering news without just adding to uh, the level, you know, the general level of fear, uncer uncertainty, and, and ah, I can't speak, uncertainty and concern um, that is being blanketed out there by these YouTube channels, by these prepping content creators, because that's what they are, content creators. So, you know, it's crazy. Because they keep changing the titles of different things, but in many cases they're more accurate. You know, they went from from uh, you know peace officers to police officers to to now it's law enforcement, right? And that does seem more fitting. And you go from you know um, whatever video makers or whatever, but now it's content creators, right? 
as as benign of a title as you can get. Content creators. It takes all the personality out of it, and it's accurate, right? Because it's just now about producing content for whatever um, self benefit. There's very few channels out there that are just trying to be there to help people. Very few. I want my best, you know, to be one of those. But my channel doesn't get out there because I'm not. I refuse to sell my soul to 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 achieve that. I'm not going to do it. It's not worth it. You know, these these folks get just a little taste of something and then they just run off with it. And it's it's crazy. It's absolutely mind blowing. And there's some of them that just keep incrementally getting worse. Prepper Dog. Holy cow, that guy is off the charts. And he is another one that people have consistently tried to pull him back down off his cloud. And nope, delete, block, delete, block, delete, block. And then get on, on YouTube and and talk about how wrong they are when he won't take two seconds to consider what he's doing. Hmm. It seems like there's a word for that. I I just, I'll let you figure out which word that is. Because there's actually a few words that describe it. Um, and the type of individual themselves. And it goes way too far when they, in any way, shape, or form, that tie the father in to their nonsense. That's when it goes way too far. And that's when I will refuse to keep my mouth shut. Because... The father doesn't have his stamp of approval on their bullshit. And they're trying to convince you that the father does have their st his stamp of approval on their bullshit. And they're completely misleading and misguiding and misshepherding their people. And it's a shame. And nobody can talk to them because they are unapproachable. They are un unteachable. So anyway... I'm going to get out of here. Just do keep an eye on the different, you know, possible conflicts around the earth. Because, wow, there are many. And uh, keep an eye on that weather, right? Just keep an eye on that weather. As far as this, um, <clears throat> this flu stuff and vaccine stuff and eh, whatever, you know. Keep an eye on it. I'm not going to tell you to pull the, the covers over your head. But don't let these people get you spooled up. They're alarmist, and they do this crap every single day. It's it's unbelievable. Um. So, other than that, just try. You know, I whether you see it or not, I I built a goofy uh, flight sim chair today. You know, I. Live and love life. You know, I think a lot of people get the impression that because I did news the last 10 years that um, I am I was probably just a very serious kind of, you know, stick up my butt kind of person. And I'm not. <laughs> not even remotely. I came here to do a job, right? And I did that job. Um... That's that. I, I don't sit there and live in worry. I don't sit there and live in fear. I don't. Absolutely not. 